so now i will implement the program for evaluating a postfix expression i have these three files stack.h stack.cpp main.cpp in stack.h and stack.cpp class stack is implemented and in main.cpp i will write code for evaluating a postfix expression so first i will take one postfix expression from the user as a character array so i declare one array with size 100 and i ask user to enter the postfix string which i will store inside the array input so c in input here there will be some message enter a valid postfix expression now after that after that i will scan the string character by character so for that one integer variable i which will traverse me through the string so input of i not equals to null character i will say i plus plus so using the i variable as a counter i am going through the string character by character now during this travel cell if i find operand that means if input of i greater than equals to 0 and input of i is less than equals to 9 that means it is operand operand is going to be a number between 0 to 9 even you can have number which is beyond 9 but for this program for simplicity i am assuming that operand is single digit number because for multiple digits numbers i have to apply more logic since i need to convert it from character to integer then else if so else part will be for if the character into the input string is operator so if input of i equals operator i am assuming only four operators plus minus multiplication here and division so if it is an operator if the character into the input string is an operator then i will do something which is written in this if and if it is operand then i will do something which is written here so now according to the algorithm what i am supposed to do so if it is an operand then i am supposed to push it onto the stack and if it is an operator then i will pop twice i will apply the operator as b operator a and then i will again push back the result onto the stack so that is the algorithm so if it is the operand i will push it onto the stack so i will need one stack variable so let's declare object of stack stack s1 now when i push the variable onto the stack then i need to push it as an integer because it is integer stack and operators are always applied on integer values so i have to push that character as a integer value that means first i need to convert that character into integer and then i will push it onto the stack so if it is a operand then i will say x equals to now this input of i is character i will convert it into the integer how to convert that into the integer i will say x equals to input of i so this is ascii value of the i character minus 48 so if you know the range of ascii values of 0 to 9 are from 48 to 57 so if i subtract 48 from each of the ascii value i will actually get the integer value which i will store in some variable x so this x is integer variable so this line is to convert character into integer and after that i will say s1 dot push and i will push the x value then if it is the operator i will pop twice so here i will take two different variables one is a other is b and i will pop two times in variable a and b so first value which i will pop will go inside variable a so s1 dot pop and second value will go inside the b variable so let me declare a and b as integers 
so if it is operator then pop two times and apply the operator so again switch so operator is which one it is input of i operator is stored inside input of i so i will switch according to the operator and there will be four cases case plus will be there then case minus will be there multiplication and division because there are four operators which i am considering so in case plus i will perform addition of a and b so i am supposed to apply operator as first b then operator then a so it is c equals to b plus a c is one more variable here it is c equals to b minus a i have taken the c as integer but it may be float since if if division is there then the answer may be the float value so taking c as float variable or double variable it's making much more sense So after I apply the operator, I will push the result back onto the stack. So again, I need to say s1 dot push inside bracket c everywhere in each case. Put break in each case. So break. So that's all. I think I, ha I have done with the program. Now, where is the answer? Answer is nothing but the topmost element of stack. So outside this while loop, I need to check what is the topmost element of stack. So here I will print C out S1 dot pop. So whichever is the topmost element, I will pop it out and that will be the answer. So answer equals to s1 dot pop let me try to run this g plus plus stack dot cpp main dot cpp dot slash a dot out now i will give the input it is two four plus this is postfix format of two plus four and the answer should be six so it is coming let me give the input which we have already seen in the theory part so for you 4 plus 6 3 minus 6 3 minus division for this answer should be 3 it is printing 6 so something is wrong in the code what did i miss in the case 4 here i have written b minus a by mistake it should be b divided by a so now let me run it again compile run so input is 5 4 plus 6 3 minus division answer should be 3 yes it is coming and one more example we have seen in the theory part the postfix format is 1 2 4 plus 4 5 plus 6 into plus 5 division and plus so for this we have calculated answer which was 13 so yes this is also coming so this program is running so this is how you will evaluate a postfix expression using stack so thanks for watching the video please like the video and don't forget to subscribe